Hi there, Gemini Cancer. Welcome to your reading. So today we are going to talk about your success. What is the key to your success? How you can align with it a little bit better? We are going to go with the flow. So take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. And uh, there is a cusp survey down below. If you don't mind, go fill it out. That would really help me understand your cusp a little bit better and come up with better content for you, and better advice for you, okay? So I would really appreciate that. And I guess that's it. So let's just get started. Uh, so we're going to start here by taking a look at how you perceive your success and how the universe perceives your success. So let's see here. How are you seeing your success? How do you feel about it? Ooh, okay. We have the Hierophant. Very nice way to start. How does the universe perceive your success? Wow, what is this? My goodness, I love this. So, um, I feel like you're getting out a little bit out of, uh, you're getting out of your comfort zone. And I feel like you can actually feel more comfortable than you were expecting. Um, the thing is, I actually feel like the universe is perceiving your current success, because it's about your current success, um, is perceiving it has aligned. So I kind of feel like whatever you're doing, you're like on the path of your life purpose. Uh, for some of you, I actually feel like you may not, um, either you may not totally work, so this success may actually not be related with career, maybe related with, for example, having a family, if that is the case, or it may not be like a traditional uh, path of career. I feel like that is where you're coming from, and I feel like you're creating something traditional or you're using some set of rules to create some stability where you're headed and where uh, what are you creating and what are you creating and I feel like you're really creating a lot of truth a lot of authenticity in what you're doing right now and I feel like the universe is really proud of you for it because I really feel like your success right now it's like looking pretty damn good I feel like you're building a really solid and a uh, beautiful, beautiful foundation for your career and for your success. And it's like, from this point forward, it's only going up. Like even here in this higher fund, I feel like you even feel that about the, your career, about your success. It's like, I have so many steps to go, but I'm already in a very good place. This higher fund, this dude, he's so proud. He's so happy, right? And he's like, I'm just taking here, not necessarily a little rest, but I'm, I know where I am and I'm really proud of where I am and I'm not going to like... I don't know, kill myself just to go beyond and beyond and beyond. I trust my path and I know that I'm good enough to get there, right? And so um, that is really good. I really feel like the universe is so proud of you. Let's get here a little bit more information on your side. So we have the seven of cups. Let's get one more. And let's get one more here for the universe how the universe perceives. Okay. Yeah, man. So we have strength here for you and we have the tower. So this is really, really awesome because I feel like there's this energy of you stepping into your power. I feel like right now you may be a little bit confused because again, you may be going on a path that is not normal. You may be going at this path that uh, maybe it's not what was expected of you or again, maybe it's just the thing that it's a little bit out of your comfort zone because I do feel like we're talking here about your life purpose and uh, maybe it would be interesting for you to take a look at your north node uh, because I feel like that is where what you're doing, that is what you're accomplishing here. The north node is your destiny, is the things that you're here to learn, is what you're here to do. Uh, is where you're going to evolve and expand. And I feel like that is where you're headed, especially with this tower coming up. It's like so much transformation happening here, even with all these butterflies, right? Um, and the most interesting thing is that these butterflies, and I mean, the whole picture is kind of um, getting out of the 3D, you know? It, it's it's not becoming solid anymore. Not solid is solid in the sense of stable, but in the sense of material, it's going towards a soul level. And that is what really tells me, I mean, with judgment there, that is what really tells me that the universe is so proud because this is your life purpose, okay? So kudos to you because you're doing it, okay? You're freaking doing it. And with the strength here, I feel like you may be a little bit afraid of, maybe not afraid, but I feel like you are a little bit, I don't know, just wondering I feel like sometimes you may doubt yourself or you may question this path, I feel. Um, I don't think that you're necessarily alone, 
but I do feel like there's a little bit of like maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed, you know, on the on the possibilities, on how far you can go, and maybe you're just dreaming it all, and you're not, you're really not, but because. You were in such a solid and 3D and normal, let's call it, uh, career or path before. Now that you're really going towards your truth, it's like, is this really the thing? Am I really doing the thing that is right for me? And you are. You really are. So let's see here. Your key to success. What is this about? So we have here passion. Awesome. I love this. Really love this because... Uh, you could do something creative, maybe related with um, music or I'm getting music a lot. Very, very strong, but it could also be like with uh, writing. I'm also hearing poetry, just something creative doesn't have to be. But I do feel like especially with the strength there, it's something that feeds your soul. It's something that makes you really happy. It's something that, um, you know, and there's creativity in all aspects. There's creativity in all around us. And I feel like that is where you're headed. It's just like following your passion and following what lights you up, you know, not really or trying to not care so much about other people's opinions and what is right or what they think is right and everything. And I feel like you're really getting into this place of I know who I am and this is what I'm going to do, right? Because with this trickery and complacency here, especially with self-worth and alignment showing up uh, afterwards, first of all, alignment. So again, there's that energy of like destiny, of life purpose, of you're doing great. Keep going to not give up because this is for you. It's like, I feel like maybe in your childhood, there was also this thing of uh, comparison, you know, maybe, and maybe you still are facing and fighting, you know, with this, um, with the strength card here, it's like you're fighting your demons. You're really taming that inner beast that it's within you. And one of those demons could be comparison to others. Like, oh, but other people are already doing this. Or uh, if it is that case of like, maybe not necessarily working and being a stay-at-home parent, for example, uh, it's like, oh, but that is not totally accepted in my social circle or in society. And people are going to think I'm lazy and, you know, I, I feel like you may be facing some of those things and that is actually going to be your key to success. It's just owning your power. It's just owning who you are, knowing that you have so much control and so much power in your life, in your career by speaking your truth. It doesn't matter if, if other people see it as right or not. It is your path. It is your life. It is what you are supposed to do. And if we we're talking about like here, minor things and everything, but we're not, we're really talking about life purpose. This is what you were born to do. So your key to success right now really lies around um, like listening to yourself and only yourself. Keep following your path, like do not give up. I don't even feel like there's too, too much of a change that needs to happen because you already have all the tools. You already have all that you need to do. You already have all the answers and you're already doing it. So it's just a matter of like, you know it, so do it and keep going. Do not give up, you know, let's put some tarot into this and get some more information. But I definitely feel like it's something that, yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. I love this. Queen of, of Wands and Queen of Cups, so much passion and so much um, love. And I even feel like this is going to inspire a lot of people around you. You may not be aware of that. You may not totally... Um, I don't know, you may not, not necessarily believe in that. It's like, oh, I'm just doing my own little thing. Um, no one really cares about what I'm doing, except if it's to criticize or something. And I actually feel like it's going to have a lot more power than what you believe. Uh, I'm also hearing a blog. So, for example, if you are a stay-at-home mom, you may want to start um, a blog, for example, or a book. Um, and that is actually going to inspire and help a lot of um uh, other people that are going through the same, that want to do the same or something like that. And it, I do feel like you're going to have a big impact on the world. And there's something here about like being seen with that judgment. It's like whatever you're doing now, I feel like it's just the beginning. It's like you're just planting the seed for something greater and bigger. And that is the hierophant there. It's like you may, your back is even turned to that uh, to that staircase, to the to the light, right? So you may not even be aware on how far you can go. You may have this notion of like, well, I can go a little bit further, but I'm not sure how far, and I'm not sure how to go towards it. And in fact, it's just like, keep going. 
there's there's no turn there's nothing there just straight ahead keep going right so it's like see your potential believe in your potential and you're gonna get there like you have to get there it's just it's part of your path so it's like you have no other choice basically uh, we do have here four of wands, beautiful. So more reference to like staying at home and family and everything. Um, this could also be like um, anything related with working from home, uh, obviously. But there's definitely like a big emphasis on family. And I feel like that is also another thing is that I feel like you're going to inspire your kids. You're going to inspire future generations. And not even just like future generations. I feel like you're... Um, the people around you, even your friends and everything, uh, I feel like they're really going to support you more than you are aware of because I feel like there are some people that I feel like may be a little bit frightened about all of this and maybe a little bit like, but are you sure? Is this really safe? Is there a future here, right? But I feel like the second you, um, like the more and more you start owning up to your truth and owning up to what you really want to do, I feel like these people are just going to be like, okay, then go for it. What do you need? Do you need any help and everything? And I feel like they're really going to be there for you. Um, and you may actually inspire them to go and pursue their own dreams. Yeah, pay to cups. Man, so dreaming, so much dreaminess and so much passion and so much like, I cannot believe that this is happening, you know? Because I feel like this is basically your dream life. That is what you're building. That is your success. It's your dream life. Is your accomplishing and having everything that you wish for, everything that you've always wanted, um, ever since a little kid, you're having it now. And I do feel like you are so much closer to it than you are aware of, okay? So, yeah, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. And we also have here the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Swords. So, this Hierophant could also be that this transition, this uh, nor normal job may not still be a thing. Uh, so you may still be in the process of walking away, of quitting your job, or um, or even just like the true uh, the true process of like starting a side hustle, for example. Uh, and you may be fighting a little bit the idea. It's like ah, I see the future there, I see the potential, but I'm not sure if it is really the right thing. And it is okay. So no negativity here. Really believe in yourself because you're on your spiritual path. You're on the path that is guided and meant for you. This is for you. Okay, and it's really time to get moving. Also, sometimes, even if you are already on that path and um, you're already like doing the thing, you're already building it, sometimes you may doubt yourself and you may question if you just should go back and, and go towards, I don't know, regular job and, and just, you know, live with it. And I, I feel like the universe is really trying to say, Please don't, please, please don't, because you're so close to this um, alignment. You're so close to this beautiful dream life. So believe. And it's so beautiful because today um, we have the new moon in Pisces, which is all about like that dreaminess. And it's a new moon, so it's, it's amazing. And it's actually, I believe it's aligned with Jupiter. Um, and so it's like, it's a beautiful moon for you to manifest your dream life. So right now, as you finish watching this reading, go write a list of goals, go write your dream life, what it looks like, how you feel, the things that you do and start going after those things, you know, make a plan for you to accomplish those things. Because again, it's much, um, closer to you than what you believe. Okay. So let's pull here some final advice for you you to align with this success even though i feel like it's basically just about like taking action uh work through your fears yeah step out of oh my god what did i tell you north node step out of your comfort zone oh my goodness hold your vision we also have the answers you need are coming let's get here um a few more but straight away there's that confirmation of like go afterward uh, after it because um north node this is your freaking destiny Okay, this is your freaking life purpose. And don't stop dreaming. Don't stop believing because this is for you. And the answers you need are coming. I even feel like there's this energy of like, um, things may randomly start fitting into the place, you know, into the right place. So you may receive like an unexpected offer or uh, like all of a sudden something uh, shows up for you or... 
I don't know, maybe with a side hustle, for example, maybe all of a sudden your side hustle really takes off and it's like the thing. Um, it's like the, you're going to start seeing a lot of synchronicities and a lot of signs indicating that you are in the right path and that this is for you. Okay, so let's pull here one more. Thank you. You and your loved ones are safe in case you were wondering. Uh, your hard work is paying off beautiful and a time for healing, balsamic moon. Also, maybe look at your, with this new moon in Capricorn, if you manifested anything in the beginning of the year, um, this was like on the 2nd of January, so it's re like really close to the beginning of the year. Um, if you manifested anything on that day, or if you just had like New Year's resolutions and everything, I feel like it would be interesting if you would go look back at it and see what you have already accomplished, what you haven't, and why you haven't, because some of the reasons why you haven't accomplished anything from that uh, new moon or from that uh, beginning of the year is because of some fear. So it would be interesting for you to take a look at it. And I feel like that is going to give you also some answers for you to be able to move forward, okay? So my beautiful Gemini Cancer, this is so gorgeous. I really, really hope this resonated. I hope you're excited. I sure am excited for you. And definitely smash like button and subscribe if you haven't already and this resonated. Uh, feel free to check out your individual signs. They're gonna be up next week. Um, so definitely give them a look. And yeah, private reading, link is gonna be down below. Cusp survey and Instagram at the Sony Virgo. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's all I need to say. So I love you very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.